Alright. I feel like we'll just ask how'd you get this job. It's gonna be our friend of a friend, isn't it? It's gonna be really something boring like that. How'd you get this job? Mr. Orson offered it to me. Really? Well, yeah, he handpicks everyone who works for him. Right, okay, so what were you doing beforehand? How'd he find you? Thank you, Dave. I graduated in the top of my class at a university he funds. He offered me this job straight out of college. That's pretty lucky. Yeah, that's the word for it. <laughs> Dave, don't piss him off. Come on, he worked fucking hard. <laughs> Whoa, am I imagining things or is he resentful about something? What? The, the angry face? No, 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 mate. Don't worry. He's just seen a fly on the wall he particularly dislikes. Stupid bastard. Do you know anything about Liam's nightlife? You mean all the drinking and gambling or extra stupid stuff? Extra stupid stuff, thank you very much. Well, I was thinking about other things. Oh, the dog fights then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that that's the one. You knew about that? Oh, yeah, I'm the reason Mr. Orton found out in the first place. He asked me to track Liam's movements on his phone. Guess he didn't trust him. With good reason, to be fair. There's a surprise. It's like every time you go and look on your, your child's mobile or a parent goes and looks on essentially their child's mobile. It's always a gamble, because if they have been dicking around and horrible to you, you're going to find out. But if they haven't, you feel bad for looking on there. 50-50. Uh, <laughs> then again, I suppose Mr. Orton cares. Anyway, I noticed Liam was spending more and more time in the corner of a town that's not really hot on the usual party club, so I did more some more digging. Found out that Liam was watching dogfights, and in some cases finding them himself. Big Will was furious when I told him. <laughs> Big Will. When you showed up, I thought he'd hired a private investigator to get some proof. I guess it's kind of a moot point now. So was Liam taken off the will? Mm, Alright, we've got to find someone who sympathises with Liam and I reckon that's our culprit. Come by if you want to ask me anything. Shall do? Can I inv- Oh, I can examine! I doubt Kevin would appreciate if I poked around all his stuff. I should probably wait for a time when he's not around. <laughs> gotcha, I understand. Can I now randomly go in? I can now randomly go in. You're an interesting guy, Dave. Oh god, what are you talking about? Well, for one, you keep some interesting company. I was bored, so I decided to run facial recognition on them. I found quite a, news, quite a few newsreels about them, complete with security camera footage and mugshots. I admit, I literally laughed out loud at the one where they sold ownership shares to the Space Needle. They did what? Oh, you didn't know? Like I said, you keep some interesting company. What the fuck does that mean? Weirdly enough, when I looked up their police records, they were completely empty. They haven't been charged with anything. Oh, uh, okay, so the other people. No surprise there, Detective Gursky said that Aki cut a deal. No doubt she used her kansai to make a little argument a little more compelling. The other girl with you is the real problem, though. Who, Lee May? I couldn't find a single thing on her. No online profile, no yearbook, no profile, no images of her anywhere. No connection to anything your other friends did. So maybe she doesn't like social networking, she was homeschooled, what's the big deal? He'd find that if that was the case. Dude, seriously, you've got to be a, make a real effort to be that much of a ghost. She was taken under Mr. Orton's wing and the papers relate to her. I'm calling it now, it's got to be. There's no way that the government isn't involved in trying to cover something up. You're one of those guys who think the moon landing was faked, aren't you? <laughs> oh, come on, it's not like that. Besides, how much do you know about her anyway? Well, I can't exactly tell him that she has a Kanzai that makes her a human sponge for emotions. But beyond that, I really don't know a thing. She's called Lee Mei. Aki seemed uncomfortable about the topic and Detective Gursey shut me down completely when I asked. I know enough. <sighs> oh, of course you do. You're the genius detective after all. Oh no. Kevin taps a few keys on his keyboard and two monitors light up with an old newspaper article. Genius siblings solve another cold case. I gotta admit, you're actually kinda cool. Alright, so my sister's dead. We know that much. God, that's such, just, it's such a grey area. Anything could have happened there. God, I actually love this game. Like, it's really, really good. I suggest everyone to go and buy it. Just in case, like, let's face it, I'm not going to finish this for what? Another 10, 20 days ahead of this episode coming out? Because of the way I release parts. 
just buy it. If you're really interested in it, buy it now and complete it before I do. Don't give me any spoilers, because that's gay. But, you know, it's a wonderful game. You should support people like this. Oh, well. So, are you on a super secret mission right now or something? Huh? What are you talking about? You know, since you're using a fake name and hanging out with criminals and stuff. No, it's just Aki's nickname for me. Yeah, I'm working on the cover right now. All oh, right, if you found that article, it means you know who I am. I hate this house. <laughs> well, I'm not working on the cover right now. No, it's just Aki's nickname for me. Well, that's disappointing. Sorry. Life's not all secret missions and government conspiracies, you know. It would be colder if it were. <laughs> it's not. Sorry, dude. I wonder if he'd have helped me more if I'd told him that. Uh, Alright, if we go back out and then go back in. I mean, he literally found that shit out in 10 seconds. That's really impressive. Alright, so there's no gonna, there's no further scenes to be triggered. Let's go to see Lee May. Can I tell you anything? Can I? Fuck. Where the sodding balls is Aki? I do not know. Alright, let's go see Naoki and Sophia. Okay, so I can't ask you anything. Can I ask Sophia about something? Was Mr. Autumn planning to cut Liam from his will? Yeah, that's a good question. He was... Liam's actions were costly in terms of both money and public image. Mr. Autumn wanted to publish him for his cavalier attitude. P public image? We've just learned that the guy's an absolute bastard. What's public image going to do with it? Whatever. When Liam took up dogfighting a few months ago, that was the last straw. Last week, Mr. Orton informed Liam that he would no longer be inheriting anything. How did Liam like take that? He was furious. Naturally, he called Mr. Orton a selfish and greedy old man, and he said that he'd make him regret his decision. It's not Liam. It's not. It, it, it's someone who likes Liam, or something like that. Oh. We won't know until about 60% through the game, I reckon. Mr. Orton never got round to doing it. The lawyer was scheduled to visit next week. As it stands, all of Mr. Orton's fortune now belongs to Liam. How convenient to Liam, yeah. Killing someone seems like a good way to get revenge, although I don't think Mr. Orton regrets now, much now that he's dead. Still, there's definitely something to keep in mind. Ah, it's just too obvious. It is as simple as that. Alright, so... Where the balls is Aki? I want to at least try and speak to her before we go here. Alright. So, aha! There we are. As I enter the lobby, Aki races down the stairs and nearly runs me over. Whoa! Oops. Sorry, Dave. Where have you been? I was just upstairs with Liam. Alright. Sure you were. <laughs> In 20 minutes. Oh, don't look at me like that. It's not what you think. Of course. <laughs> For your information, I was just asking Liam about the staff. Did you know that none of Mr. Orton's staff, her personal staff, are paid? Really? I thought Kevin was in here for the money. I, what? That can't be true. Kevin says Mr. Orton pays him well. Well, then Kevin was lying. And what makes you think Liam wasn't lying? Let's just say he strongly believes it is in his best interest to be truthful. <laughs> Alright. In other words, you used your Kanze. Got it in one. <laughs> oh, come on. That's not like... <laughs> that's not the subtlest of hints, is it? So if Mr. Horton doesn't pay anyone, how, why do they work for him? Kevin's family owns a small business that's in serious trouble. Mr. Horton pulled a few strings to keep the creditors away, and they'll stay away as long as Kevin works for him. As for Sophia, it seems her husband's heart is failing. Mr. Orton promised to move him to the top of the recipient list for the new company's organ creation. Well, so basically, he gets people to be completely devoted to him by holding on to what they love, and in the end he doesn't have to pay a cent. Right. So that's why Sophia was there, and that would understand why she's so sad that he's dead. Kevin, however... I have to admit, I'm actually kind of impressed. This is getting complicated. If we want to get to the bottom of this, we're going to need another look at the crime scene. But Detective Gursky's guarding the door. Our dad will even let you in. Oh, I'm the last person he'd let in. But we don't need the real thing. We've got something just as good. Hello. Oh, God. 
I'm not holding my hopes too high. Naki, what are you doing here? I thought you were with Sophia. I called him here, of course. Aki glances around the room quickly before taking a step towards her brother. This is what my kanze is actually good for. Aki takes Naki's hands in hers and closes her eyes. Naki, show us. What the fuck? Alright, this is a different kind of kanze, I'll give him that. The world around me fades to black and for a moment I find myself standing in a luxurious office. Okay, so this is Mr. Orton's office, I know, because there's alcohol in it. The world looks a little warmer and softer than I'm used to. It's kind of surreal. On the ground before me is a dead body. Mr. Orton, I presume? Are we in the office? Of course not, we're still in the main lobby. You're looking at Naki's memory right now. My kanze allows me to share the thoughts of whoever I touch. That's kind of neat, I suppose. <laughs> it's useful. Okay, so what do we do now? Have a look around. Of course, does anything look suspicious? Uh, well, his dead body is probably a good one. The fact that we haven't seen his face is probably bad. It's going to get up and be someone we know. If I were in the real office, I'd be able to read Mr. Orton's final moments. Unfortunately, I'm not in the real office. Judging by his skin colour, I'd agree with Detective Gersky. This guy was poisoned. A phone? A phone that's actually plugged into the wall. I suppose a landline is still more secure and reliable. I wonder why people instinctively search for their home whenever they see a map. Maybe we're searching for a feeling of belonging. Well, I found Edgewater and... <laughs> for what it's worth... Oh, God. It's like... Michael McIntyre, the comedian who you should definitely check out, said that... You know, Google Maps, you have the whole of the world to look for. Where's the first place you look for? My house. Oh my god, Michael, that's your car! Oh my god! <laughs> it's a brilliant sketch. He does it far better than I do. A fancy scrub with Chinese calligraphy on it. I have no idea what it says. <laughs> Probably some emotional bollocks, isn't it? Alcohol. Some sort of alcohol. I'd guess cognac by the colour. Okay. The ice in the glass hasn't melted yet, which means Mr. Orton was drinking this right before he died. Maybe he was poisoned. <sighs> Little late on the uptake, Dave. Very late on the uptake, in fact. Uh, what about that lime? No? All right. Newspaper? Today's newspaper. A lamp? A computer? Mr. Orton's computer. The screen is dark. A uh, book there. A lot of books, I think, is an encyclopedia set. A bunch of shells. It's just Naki's memory, so I can't see what's inside them. Just clicking on them all just to make sure. So what have I missed? A lamp? The desk? What have I missed? This is everything. But I can't click on it without this coming through. So it's definitely above here. Wow, some drawers. Telephone. A chair? A very comfortable looking chair befitting of an executive officer? What am I looking for? There's something here which is... There's got to be something more than this. Because this just looks useless. Just clicking around to make sure because there is a done exploring thing. Nah, that's about it. Alright, done exploring. So what do you think? Well, he was poisoned. Well, if I had to say, I'd guess the cognac on his desk. The ice wasn't melted, so he poured it recently. And he didn't drink, get to drink too much of it, so it may have been the source of the poison. That's logical, but how could anyone poison his drink in the first place? It's the lime! The lime, it must be! Well, or not. Maybe the killer poisoned the cognac before giving it to Mr. Orton. If that's the case, then the murderer could be anyone. So if we found who gave him the cognac, we'd find the killer. Not necessarily. Then I guess we'll have to figure out who bought it. Sophia probably knows who's given him gifts lately. But we're not going to do that because that would be obvious. Uh. Okay, so I have to give those papers to Detective Gursky no matter what. Okay. Did you learn anything else when you were speaking to Liam? Come on, please give me something useful. Well, he did mention that his uncle likes a <laughs> Yeah. I know that. That's not exactly news. I'm pretty sure everyone here knows that. I'm sure poisoning makes him easy, though. Huh. So, you and the others are criminals. I see Miko has been talking to you. 
<laughs> that is a look which could kill. Lee May is the one who told me. Oh, well, I won't deny that we've done things on both sides of the law. But we're not just a bunch of criminals, okay? I have my reasons. Uh, I've explored much of the house as I can, but... While I haven't got a good look at the security room, Kevin's always in there and I don't want to be poking around while he's watching. Hmm, good point. I wonder if there's a way to get him out of the room for a while. Even if we could, the door would lock behind him. There's no way we could open it without him. <clears throat> Unless you got specific registry code retina stuff from Liam? No, okay. The only way to get, to get in is to reset the power and override the system. You couldn't override the security system without a code. Aki's light eyes suddenly light up. So what you're saying is, it is possible to enter without him. No, you just said that we could if we had a code. But we don't, I don't think Sophia's just going to tell us hers. I'm pretty sure she already did. What do you need? <laughs> Was Naki there? Alright. Naki appears beside me, he looks a little out of breath, as if he just ran here as quickly as he could. Wait, did you just call him? How else? You're surprised? <sighs> yeah. Aki stares at me as if this should be obvious. I thought it was. It's better than sending a text, although the range isn't that great. Uh, Alright, come on, let's get Kevin out of his room. I didn't want to do this quite as of yet, but I suppose we're going to have to.